Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So this is an update to the original video I have out for 3D flight planning. So make sure you check that out first before you watch this video. There's a link in the description. So in this video, I'm going to cover how you can import your Google Earth KML file directly into the Legi Hub, bypassing the bridge website that I had shown in the first video. And I'm also going to show you how you could actually view your flight path in 3D on Google Earth plus some other tips and tricks. On the Litchi Hub page, you can import your Google Earth KML file directly. All you have to do is check this box, treat views as waypoints. There's also another option here if you want to just take photos. So let's go over to Google Earth, and as in the previous video, you'll want to define your first waypoint, which I reference as viewpoints. And to determine the altitude, as in the previous video, you take the I altitude and subtract the elevation to determine their altitude, 199 feet. All right, we'll go ahead and set a few waypoints here, and then I'll go ahead and show you some other steps. So at this viewpoint, I'm zooming in and what happens is it goes to the ground view. You cannot record viewpoints or waypoints when you're in ground view. So to prevent that from happening, there's actually an option you could set within Google Earth so that you can get very low to the ground and record that waypoint without it going into the ground view. So here I'm showing you exactly where you go to prevent it from happening. You just select this option here. Now when you zoom in, you can see that it doesn't switch over into the ground view, and then you could go ahead and save that waypoint. So now I've recorded all the viewpoints that I want to run for this mission, and now I'm saving that file as per the prior video as a KML file. Okay, over on the Litchi Hub, I'm going to go ahead and import that file. And there you go. So now I'm going to show you a great new feature in Litchi Hub. What you can do is export as KML 3D path. Click on it, click on the file that's created, and it opens up Google Earth to show you your actual 3D flight path based on what you had programmed. Okay, that top yellow line is your actual fly path based on the altitudes that you had set while you were creating your viewpoints, waypoints in Google Earth. All right, start is the first waypoint. And I'm going to be zooming down toward the ground. And so what I use it for besides just checking my altitudes and the flight path, making sure there's no obstructions, is that I have clear line of sight for the flight path that I'm going to run. So there's a start point and the top yellow line. Again, that's your flight path. So I can see that more or less, with the exception of the top of that tree right there, I'll have a clear line of sight between me and the drone. All right, so let's go ahead and save this mission so that we could go ahead and load it into the Litchi app, calling it demo here. So before we actually load up the mission into the Litchi app and run the mission, I wanted to show you one other feature in Google Earth that I think you'll find helpful. This button here allows you to show the shadowing based on the positioning of the sun and the time of day. So this just gives you another level of being able to better plan your missions based on the shadow cast. So on the Litchi app, I am at the flight location. I'm loading up the mission called Demo. And there's really nothing else new here to talk about other than to make sure you go through the mission settings, return home, of course. Your cruise speed, 10 is kind of typical for me. I like to set the max flight speed to maximum and everything else looks good here. All right, so we're ready to go ahead and start the mission. All right, guys, so that is it. Thanks for watching. Again, if you found this video helpful, 
always appreciate you hitting that like button. Got a lot of other videos too, of course, that I've got uh, working on queued up. So go ahead and subscribe if you like. Thanks for watching, you guys. Happy flying. Bye.